Okay. So we're going to talk about line and bar graphs. Yay! Now, there are two different graphs. There are two different ways to graph yes. things. Yeah. And one can't be used in the other. Yeah. So, bar graphs yes. are used for things that have different categories. Yeah. Can you give me an example of something with different categories? Um, food. Food, perfect. Let's call this graph food. <laughs> graph food. Food graph. Uh, what's something that you like, sort of? Jam. You sort of like jam, very good. Jammy. Jammy. What's something that you like a fair bit? Fair bit? No, no, no. What do you like a fair bit? Macaroni. Macaroni? I'll just put pen and seed. Mac and cheese. What do you really not like? No. Broccoli. Ugh, broccoli. I hate broccoli. <laughs> and what do you... Pizza! God of pizza. God of pizza. Mm -hmm. Now this isn't a very good scale, but we'll call it the amount of like. The amount you like something. The amount of jam I, I the amount I like jam is about this much. Mac and cheese, about this much. Broccoli. Pizza? Through the roof. To the roof. Now is this a bar graph or a line graph? It's bar. You can tell it's a bar graph because very obviously it has bars, right? Yeah, it has bars. Eating kind of bars. Right but do you know what's really distinct about bar graphs? Do you know what makes it different? Um, lines, squares. Squares, yeah, it has bars. Rectangles. Right the rectangles, yeah. Do you know why bar graphs are bar graphs? Because they have categories. Yeah, categories, yeah. What about line graphs? What's the deal with line graphs? Um, higher, you guess, the days, maybe? The line graphs, or sorry, line graphs, are something that changes over time. Yeah. So, an example of something that changes over time, time. that's a little yeah. tricky. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do, do socks, do socks change over time? No. No, not really, they sort of stay the same. Does your age change over time? Yeah. It certainly does. In fact, you get one year older every 365 days, don't you? So we could graph that. That'd be really boring. That would just look like this. Because you keep getting one year older. Yeah. Every 365 days. But that's boring. Let's do something cooler. Let's do something else that changes over time. Changes differently over time. What else changes over time? Hope. Nope. Cheese. You know, you know what changes over time? Yeah. Cheese smell. Yeah, and cheese too, because it gets older. True. I'm just gonna focus on the smell right now. Hello. I was in my room working. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Did, were you, did you just write on Vaughn's communication log the YouTube video? Yeah. Healy may have, though. Maybe. Because I think I might have been doing it at the same time, and I think I just deleted what she wrote. Oh, oh. oh Keely's fault. Oh, no, I think so. <laughs> Tracy's fault. Tracy. Cheese smell is something that changes over time. Yeah. Let's say day one. Day one. D1. Day one. Day two. Day two. Day three. Day three. Day, three. day four. Day four. Day five. Day five. Day one. Let's okay. call this smell. You smell good. The higher the smell, yeah. the worse the cheese smells. If it's a that low tastes... smell, that's okay. If it's a high smell, it's like cheese. You ready? Yes. Day one, does it smell very much? No. Ah, it's okay. Let's put it down here. Not much down. A little, even lower? How about there? A little up. Like right there? Yeah. Okay. Day two, a little bit higher? What do you think? Just tell me when. Um, Day 
Day four, after four days of smelly cheese. Um, up, 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 up there. Day five of smelly cheese. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep there. Now, that's actually really fun. I don't even know if you meant to do this. But what you did is something called an exponential curve. We'll talk about that, you know, in more advanced stuff. Yeah. But it sort of goes... A little bit cross-eyed. It's sort of, it's increasing. It sort of looks linear, sort of exponential. Hard to tell. But anyway, do you know why this graph is very different from this graph? The dot symbols of uh, height? Yes, yes. But height is also important over here, isn't it? Yeah. So that's how graphs are the same. Very good. How are the graphs different? Um, lines. Lines, very good. This one has a line. Um, you know what the line means? Rectangles, yeah. Yes. Do you know what the line means yeah. when I connect these dots with a line? Yeah. It means they're connected. Yeah. Connected. Oh, that same. is the key word. Yeah, connect. A little bit. These have discrete categories. Can I connect jam and mac and cheese? No. No. Can I connect day one and day two? Yeah. I can. Do you know why? Yeah. Because it's the same smelly cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And that's the difference between bar graphs yeah. and line graphs. Yeah. Oh, wait.